Well, we begin this hour with the jury being seated in the trial for the mother of the Oxford High School shooter. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Today, 12 jurors were seated along with five alternatives in the involuntary manslaughter case against Jennifer Crumbly. Our Simon Shaket in the courtroom today with more on how these jurors were selected from the pool. A jury has now been seated here after two days of jury selection. We've learned opening statements will begin tomorrow with 12 jurors and five alternates. In a second day of questioning from attorneys today, jurors asked about personal views on guns, parenting, social media, and media coverage of the Oxford High School shooting. Several dismissed for telling the court they had health issues, prepaid travel, or were unable to set aside their own biases and limit decisions to evidence presented in court. Without accountability, you're not going to force any kind of change. Parent Steve St. Juliana sharing his thoughts on the trial beginning this week and its impact on the community so important to drive home the issue that we need to we need to make change to stop this epidemic as trial moves forward jurors have been told to avoid watching news reports going on social media and discussing the case with anyone having lost his daughter steve also sharing this message that goes beyond the courtroom there's just a lot more than just this trial um and i think it's important for the community in the state to not lose focus. Today, multiple jurors admitting the tragedy that took the lives of Madison Baldwin, Tate Meir, Justin Schilling, and Hannah St. Juliana has weighed heavily on them as parents. Prosecutors say the rampage could have been prevented by the Crumblies, and they plan to show video footage from inside the school, as well as inside a gun range, including the purchase of ammunition. There's been hundreds and hundreds of, of shootings, and the, the saddest part is, is if you look at them, they've all had similar types of reviews. Prosecutors also plan to present Jennifer Crumbly's cell phone records and social media info. They allege gross negligence in allowing the shooter access to a gun and ignoring cries for help, making the tragedy foreseeable. A gag order remains preventing attorneys on both sides from speaking with media. The shooter has also asked not to testify against his parents, despite a motion requesting he be ordered to by his mother. We'll be in court to bring you all the latest developments tomorrow and cameras will be allowed inside the courtroom. Separately, James Crumbly will have a trial of his own on March 5th with a separate jury to be picked. From Pontiac, Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you.